Welcome home, Raiders. Tonight, we're going to do the entire show in Nurglish. As Convert to Raid presents... the show. How's it going? From the CTR command post in Sacramento, California, today is April 2nd. It's already April. What is going on? It's uh, now, what is it, 7.12 in the p.m., uh, that specific time. Thanks so much for joining us from all around the, the Blizzard universe, everybody. My name, my name is Pat Crane. I'm your host, and I can't talk. That's why I have players that join me every time. And uh, this week is no exception. We have uh, two players. They are both from the same... They both do a show together. So let's just bring him in. I'm going to start with... Uh, from Lagging Balls, it's Thorn. Hello, Thorn. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I was going to go to you first because I saw what uh, what Thist was doing. And here's Thist right over here. There she is. I'm sure. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> Uh, so my name's Pat Crane, and no. I like to party. Yep. Nope. What? But on know. one condition. <laughs> oh, God. What is that What's condition? condition? Oh, what do you think it is? I'm curious. Y you know? What is the condition upon which Pat Crane will party? Um. As long as I can bring my own Be the pants. Healer? Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> See, I was bringing that back around to wow, but now okay, fine. It's fine. Uh, you know. Whatever. It's a, it's all about the pants. As we found out Is last it? week. Because that's yeah, the only that's thing true. you won't be able to hide in, in when 8.2 rolls around and they break out that new transmog rule, right? So, yes. There we go. Hide your pants, hide your wife. Yes, <laughs> nipple. Hide, hide your pants, hide your wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's Can so you guys funny. Tell me, uh, do any of the races in WoW have nipples? I can't. We, I can't, think, we, I think we talked about this before, and nobody was certain, we? and we just moved on. Oh, I'm pretty See, that's sure. Still plaguing me today. I don't, I don't even know. I don't even know. Maybe, maybe somebody from the chat room can look that up for for us while we please help us do a show. <laughs> we can't do the show until I know. All I'm right. Well, uh, hi guys. Welcome. Uh, hello, Twitch chat. Hello, guys that uh, take us around in your in your in your pockets with you. Sure, we'll go with that. Uh, thanks so much. It's uh, it's been a weird week in um, in World of Warcraft for sure because of the whole hey. April Fool's thing. You know, yeah, <clears throat> there was that. Um, Love that. It's always did good. you guys. Did you guys fall for any April Fool's jokes online? <sighs> no. I did not know. Mm -mm. I did. I feel so stupid. What was your April Lost. Fool's joke that you fell for? It was the dumbest. I was just scrolling through Instagram and I was, I'm following this like New Jersey vegan thing. And they're like, Beyonce is playing our annual vegan fest on the beach. And I'm like, Oh my God. You know, and I don't even like Beyonce, but I was just like, that's fantastic. What a great like thing. What's wrong with you? I respect her, I guess. I don't know. You but yes, I don't know. It was early, and I'd heard that she was vegan, and I was just like, "What a nice thing for her to do for the vegans of New Jersey." Isn't that but, uh, nice? But it, but yeah, it was a no, hoax. Definitely, See, that, a hoax. that goes beyond April Fool's joke to just hoax, right? I mean, there's yeah. a there's a fine line. <laughs> By the way, if you were one of those guys who said April, they're April Fools like more than five times in like yesterday. <laughs> maybe maybe you should just chill out next year that's <laughs> that's all i'm saying i said it once well, myself <laughs> i said it once myself uh to fist because um that was so rude i i was so i was just so i was joking around and then i said well it's april fool's day so i'll just say april fool's here because things and then you're just looking for an excuse to be mean to me i Patrick, wasn't being mean feelings. i was just joking around 
You never consider my feelings, Patrick. I, I, I told you that I fell into poison oak and you and you're the one who got hurt. <laughs> oh, OK. Whatever. So every time you go outside, something bad happens. Yeah. And then I have to deal with it emotionally yeah. afterwards. Yeah. And I'm thinking, like, <laughs> why aren't you inside like a normal Man. wow guru? Because I think we can all agree at this point in your career, after 20 you, long years of podcasting for Blizzard, you're kind of a wow guru, you know? Oh. I mean, you've been on the stage of BlizzCon. Sure. You've been on other stages sure. in various <laughs> In various attire. capacities, yeah, in, in lots of different sure. attire. Yep. Yes. Yep. So I'm just I'm saying you're you're something of a guru. Like people look to you and they're like, this guy knows how to play WoW. This guy parties up <laughs> in a in a party in WoW, you know? Oh, all right. <laughs> but okay. only but, under but, one circumstance. Uh -huh. you, yeah, if one circumstance. But you insist on going outside and it's like Mother Nature's trying to tell I, you that she doesn't want you, it's, Patrick. It's it's okay. I play the healer. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Bringing it back around. All right. Uh, so, Thorne, how's your week been, bud? <laughs> it's been great. I am uh, a Symmetra main now. In oh, wow. So, really? Yeah. Symmetra is actually really great. I have been toying with um, with Roadhog quite a bit. Uh, a little bit of Monkey. Uh, nice. My Reinhardt nice. still is terrible. <laughs> Um, but I'm trying to do also also trying to get back into Lucio. So trying to get back into support roles. Yes. So excellent. Nice. Yeah. And I'm still an amazing hamster. That's good. Getting better by the day. That's good. We have a good replay together from the other day, actually. I think I, I was saw on it. Special. She was on hamster. Yeah. On uh, Hammond. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Pardon me, Hammond. And uh, we we had a really great uh, highlight together. It was a play of the game, and it finishes with a gigantic hamster smash, <laughs> like swinging through a doorway. I thought I was going to finish somebody off, but I didn't have to because here comes Fist on this giant ball and just goes, wow. Yep. Yeah, that Reinhardt forgot about physics because when I go one way, inevitably, I'm going to swing back the same way. Right, right. That's what space hamsterism is all about. Yes, and then leaving like right away. Better. Because you also because you don't have a lot of armor, you need exactly. to also you can yeah. you kind of jump in and then you jump out. Yes, and very much so. That's yeah. uh, that's the high mobility for you. Right, you yeet in and you yeet right back out, Pat. Right, that's why whenever I see Hammy the Ham and Hamster, I uh, jump on Junkrat and um, lay down a trap, and then I hate that oh, rolls yeah. right over it and just stays right there. I'm like, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> it's true <laughs> it's it's that and uh and sombra those two just shut me down yeah and sometimes mccree and that makes me really angry right Pat, space hamster down... versus cowboy i don't think so sorry Pat, do you put your do you put your trap down where he's gonna land uh usually roll usually um what i find annoying is when uh the the wrecking ball goes round and round and round like a like a point and so then I'll just put it right where I know he's going to be coming around okay. to. And he gets stuck and I'm like, yeah, sorry, pal. Oh, I hate that. Oh, I hate it so much. But I'm so glad that I can shield up in my ball now because when stuff like that happens, I can maintain my grapple and shield myself and hopefully survive. And then, you know, I'm still grappled to the point and I can continue to go round and round and round gotcha. and round and round gotcha. and round and so around again. Shields up. Yeah, shields up. Gladiators for the win. All right. Well, we'll see what happens in stage two coming up. Um, all right. So uh, maybe we should talk a little bit of news and, and uh, do this podcast uh, some justice as far as being a gaming news podcast. What do you say, gang? Sure. All what right. Said no? Let's oh, do it. From above. So. All right. Uh, on to the news. And uh, as we always do, uh, we are going to go into... World of Warcraft. A clever strategy. Mm, yes. Uh, now, let's talk a little bit about what happened this week. Well, let's actually just jump into what happened yesterday. Because yesterday was April Fool's. And if I'm not mistaken, this may be the first year that the only thing that I saw was from World of Warcraft. Yeah, actually, I... Was it and Overwatch had the 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 chat bug thing? Oh it. yeah. Oh, they did. Where you you would type out uh, a message in um, the the chat yeah. 
the team chat or the, um, I think it was in match chat only. And it would make whatever you said in all caps followed by like, uh, um, an exclamation from your, your character. So if you're on Reinhardt, it would say GG for honor. <laughs> like, or something, like, There's a clip of XQB reacting to that. He hated it. He got so angry and he was like pounding the desk. It's pretty funny. <laughs> nice. Nice. I like it. Um, but I mean, the, the, the only thing that I saw as far as like posts and stuff like that came from World of Warcraft. I think last year we saw some Heroes of the Storm stuff. We saw some Overwatch stuff I mean, on their websites or, or posted in their forums or something like that. Um, and this year we saw uh, 8.6.7 patch notes. And uh -huh. we, we also saw that the website had like a thing where you could talk in Mergle Talk, otherwise known as Nerglish. So Nerglish. you could I read. I know that was the name of it. Yeah, you could. Wow, well, that's what they said. <laughs> I know until until I saw that, I had never. Yeah. I had no idea. Me either. I was just calling it Murloc talk, but uh, Murloc talk. But now it's Nerglish. <laughs> so we got that going. I'm for feeling us. a bit Nerglish, you guys. I'm gonna have to leave. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit Nerglish. I'm gonna need to um, eat some raw fish and walk around and with my arms flapping about. <laughs> Or you have like a spear at your side limply and it's just like, hey, get out of here. Okay, we're good. Right. I'm going to live in a tiny hut, or but never right, actually go in it. Hanging way off the edge. Of yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Exactly. So uh, apparently uh, that that uh, little uh, plug in for, your, for the website thing works. And I wasn't going to check it out because I'm like, if I do this, it's never going to go back. <laughs> I did try it. <laughs> So when you when you click the link at the bottom of that article, it does translate the whole page for you, much like Google Translate would for uh, you know changing the the language of a website. Mm -hmm. uh, so everything on the page changes, including all the links on the side. So that was kind of fun. Um, and then the thing that was even more fun was I thought maybe you might click the button to change it back. Oh no! Oh no! It just makes it worse. <laughs> so you translate the translated Nerglish into more Nerglish. Oh boy! <laughs> you it. You get more and more Nerglish. And the one thing I've learned about Nerglish in my, um, my foray into translation from uh, English to Nerglish was that Nerglish just gets longer and longer and longer and longer. Right. Right. Interesting. That's, that sounds painful, actually. I'm not going to make a joke. Nope. Nope. No reason to. Nope. Uh, let's, talk about the, no let's talk about the patch H6.7 stuff that, you know, supposedly yes. leaked online. Of course, it was just all April Fool's stuff. So don't worry, guys. None of this stuff is actually going to happen. I thought it was. I thought it was. Uh, I thought it was pretty good. Some of the memes that they were throwing out. It was excellent this year. What was your favorite? Uh, their me meme queen. What was your favorite meme queen? Yeah, that's you. Uh, I don't know. Um, I like the one about not overfeeding your pet cats, even though they're adorable chonkers. Uh, there's like a yeet joke about priests, like shadow yeet. Uh, um, that was a rogue. <laughs> oh, yes. it was a rogue yeet. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. you could do <laughs> and, shadow uh, yeet, shadow floss, or shadow dab. Yeah, I like that. I I don't know. It just spoke to me for some reason. <laughs> oh, and I like the one where uh, it names Randy specifically. <laughs> where, like not putting your I'm a fan of knives on the wall because you're too old for that, Randy. Apparently, uh. Uh, Josh wrote that and then Randy told him to take out his name and then Josh was like no <laughs> and, uh, well, those <laughs> so it's just, just specifically Randy and the it's just like it's just in there fan of knives is no longer suitable for displaying on your bedroom wall at your age Randy right <laughs> <laughs> I think that's funny that's very funny so I've done some favorites yeah what do you got the companion app update is finder oh yeah Ah, like Grinder. Yeah, Pat, you're familiar with Grinder, are you not? No, I'm not. What is that? Oh, oh, you're acting. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> Look at you acting innocent. <laughs> no, what's that? <laughs> right. So, uh, what else you got? <laughs> so, the Finder app, which is basically Group Finder, obviously, and then it says swipe left to completely dismiss the player's entire existence. This is completely anonymous, distancing you from the other player's growing vortex of self doubt. Yep. <laughs> Just like savage sounds like me. <laughs> right. Sounds like me. It was pretty. It was pretty savage for sure. Um, I like uh, Al Aluneth played Despacito. Oh right, <laughs> right. Yep. I like uh, First Avenger. Only understood a few of the references in these patch notes. 
That is funny. Repentance has been renamed Shame and now has three charges, which can be reset by ringing a bell. <laughs> shame! Shame! It's just so good. Shame. Inquisition is now baseline and activates randomly without warning. No one expects Inquisition. <laughs> <laughs> no one expects Inquisition. No, nope, nobody does. Nobody All does. these are just so good. I like the, uh, the for the mage, Conjure Refreshment now creates Arcanado Toast. Like it's <laughs> Avocado toast with right. arcane, right? And as a mage millennial, that really speaks to me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, it does. Uh, See, yeah, that's I thought it was, like a double joke because I'm a millennial and also a mage. I thought it was. I thought, yeah, I thought it was good um, all all round. And I'm and I'm glad to see that they are that they are continuing this tradition of doing this stuff. Even if it's not the big bombastic stuff that they've done done in the past, where they've done some. I don't even know. I mean, I, I can't remember all the all the uh, things that they've done in years past. But I mean, I remember some like big like pictures, you know, like full graphics yeah. and all that kind of stuff. Now they're kind of doing more of a tamed down version of it, which is which which seems you know about right. So yeah, I I'd say so. About this, but like it seems like. It, these are so random that it seems like maybe he just like writes these down as he gets a random idea throughout the year and oh yeah, in a file somewhere and he really like, just is that funny though. Like he's so yeah, funny and creative. I believe that too, though. I yeah. like the um, Riverbud is now legal in Dress Far Strong Strong Valley <laughs> and Tear Guard Sound, but Riverbud R- Riverbud remains illegal in Cult Ross. <laughs> right. So it's <laughs> it's legal everywhere, but it's still yeah. illegal. You still not that legal. Right. Right. Do you guys remember the 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 April Fool's past, like the one that stands out to me the most was, uh, I think it was because there was so much controversy around it, but it was right on the eve of the model update for Draenei. And they came out with this like female Draenei face and it was all like, oh. you know, like the double chins <laughs> and like the, you know, it was it just, was so she funny. looked horrible and people were so angry. They're like, how could you do this? This is so rude to women. It's like, that's not a woman. No, it is not <laughs> at all. It is a space goat. Right. Like, and also, it's April Fools. And also, what? Right. But yeah, that was yeah. Really funny. Go. That was a good example. Exactly. Yeah. So there you I go. I wish that the new Death Knight travel form was Death Leopard, though, because that is that sounds awesome. That does it really sound, does. That does sound pretty good. That could be a cool T-shirt with like a Death Knight on it, and then oh, like. Yeah. Death Leopard prints like the my, font. My favorite. Um, my favorite graphic. Uh, that that I've seen, and I'm not sure if World of Warcraft did it or not, but it was a dinosaur riding a shark that had an undead guy with a guitar rocking oh, out. Yeah, that was cool. That was my favorite one. Wasn't was that the thing that was floating around in the um, the storm where Thrall was? In the uh, in the uh, uh, what's the name? The name of the place be, where Thrall begins was with an M. Out. The Maelstrom. Maelstrom. Yeah, the Maelstrom. Wasn't that floating around in there? I don't know. I think so. Yeah. It was, a, it was either like a, that or just like a buttload of tentacles. <laughs> you know, Azeroth is just <laughs> chock full of tentacles. Just fraught. Trigger TV tentacles. says that's from Brawler's right. Guild. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. So there you go. <laughs> um, so it was pretty cool. Uh, the, the couple of other things happened this week that we should probably get to, though. Um, what? Yeah, you know, even though we are kind of in a holding pattern, kind of waiting for 815 stuff to still release and, 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 you know, like fully, uh, just, you know, be available. Blossom. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> Blossom. Yes, sure. Um, <laughs> and we're still, we still don't have any information about 8.2. And that's where everybody was like, all the podcasters, all the content creators are like, oh, so now we're going to get 8.2 on the PTR. No, not yet. So we're kind of in a lull as we wait for more stuff, but there's still lots of stuff going on like uh, the new Jaina statue is now out. That's fantastic, Pat. Come on. You can pre-order <laughs> it right now. It's awesome. It's, it, it, look, at, look at the detail. <laughs> She's a mage. You, you're a mage. See, yeah, you I can know. get Jaina and then kill her every day. I would just I'd, I'd toss that thing out a freaking window. Uh, well, it's fine. It'd be fine. I don't know. I don't know. Chat <laughs> wants to know whose face is on the Jaina statue. Then. Right. 
And and uh, is there something to that? Uh, well, so the face doesn't really look like the face in game. Oh, uh, and so people I hate are that. so the forums kind of blew up about it. But I mean, you know, if you look I at look. if you look at a bunch of the faces um, on the if you look at a bunch of the faces on the WoW characters that have come out as the as far as like the big, um, the big ticket, you know, that three hundred and fifty dollar item. Yeah, some of the faces don't really match up. Sil Sylvanas doesn't yeah, really match yeah, up. Yeah. So yeah, that's true. And nobody yeah. said anything about that, as far I mean, as I that's know. That's why, like, I. But I feel like Sylvanas's face has been represented a number of different ways over the years. So is Janus. Oh my god. I, I guess so. Yeah. I, I have not been paying as much attention to it. Honestly, this looks like a Jaina cosplayer statue. Oh. Kinda. I mean, it, it because, just because her face looks so drastically different than any of the other art right, out right now. Yes, it does look so different. It does look different, different from all the other out, art that is available. Oh my god, you weren't kidding about these details. Look at those shows. Oh right. my god, and the and the bag is really great. Oh, oh my god. god, what a nice bag! Right, it's it doesn't even go. It's, it's super like eighteen hot. inches tall. It's super awesome. What? That is pretty awesome. Yeah, eighteen inches. Yep, 18 oh inches. God. You know, Jane is... At Jana's, least it says it's 18. Right. <laughs> like, you'd have to see it in person. <laughs> Wasn't it available at BlizzCon? I think it was. I mean, they usually BlizzCon are, anybody? but they're not always 18 inches. Sure. <laughs> that um, one was like six feet. <laughs> uh, also, yeah, they also, had the, they also had the big statue, right? Yeah. Uh, so, she was nipping out, remember? Oh boy! Like there's like detail. Uh, you know, you get both guys from lagging balls in the show. <laughs> but she, and it just starts rolling, just starts snowballing. Stage, Pat, what just do you starts say? snowballing. Uh, no. <laughs> Beware the daughter of the D's. Oh boy. <laughs> um. So, so anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll just let this go for a little bit. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't know how to bring it back. <laughs> don't look at Chad, okay? <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> so, are we done now? Are we done now? Don't, don't look uh, at chat, everybody. Don't don't do it. Don't do it. Don't watch this on Twitch uh, later. I'm a professional. Don't, don't don't see what's going I'm on. All right. Uh so there's that. And I know that I know that you're not a big fan of of that stuff, but you, you were when uh Sylvanas came out, right? Yeah. Yep. So there you go. Yeah, it is it's kind of when you pay a certain amount for something like that, you kind of hope that, you know, and arguably i'd say that the face is the most important detail but obviously like i understand that the face is also the hardest to paint you know and to and to replicate and with all of these like you said pat with all of these major characters in world of warcraft they they have changed like they look yeah. completely different than they used to like, and i mean it, well and you can just do that from in game to any of the cinematics to any exactly of, any to the, the comics things. to yeah. the whatever yeah they change like, and and stuff like that and so if you really if, if you if you don't like it i get it if you do like it that's awesome um and i know it's beautiful that, i know that the forums beautiful work. really were questioning things but you know i don't know wait they just, wait wait wait. they were questioning they, they were not satisfied with something the forums aren't angry about something <laughs> <laughs> people on the internet have rants to share yeah no they do um and in less exciting and, and in less exciting news uh because there's no controversy about it lucio is also available oh i saw the video for that today that looks good it's hand painted right he's got the blades on his yep. hands on fleek yep it's it's pretty awesome so, and that one's at a much yeah. uh, uh, lower price point too. At one seventy five, oh, really? yeah, it's one seventy five oh, wow. for Lucio because it's a ten inch statue, whereas oh, Jane is only ten inches. Jane is eighteen inch and fully detailed and like hand. I don't know, whatever. Sure. Um. So <laughs> much larger. Yeah. So you know that's what you get. <sighs> okay. One other thing, that's uh, news for this week. Really, 
and then we'll get into sports because I, I definitely want to talk about the MDI. Um, Ooh. Right. So uh, another thing that was uh, that uh, was on the forums, I believe. Yes. Uh, was that as right knowledge, they were supposed to um, uh, the, the system that periodically <laughs> reduces the artifact power required to level up your heart uh, is was orig originally supposed to pause this week. It's going for another four. So, so that's right. good. Yeah, I think it's good. It, it, it's it's not good for the people who like grinded. Is that is that it? Ground? Is it grinder, Pat? No. Nope. You were saying something about grinder earlier? <laughs> no. 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 That was okay. you. Well, sure. So it sucks for the people that that really grinded out these levels. <laughs> uh to to make it on time and then finding out that they have more time but it could be worse you know and and that gives you a, a chance to uh to chill and it gives uh uh more casual players a chance to catch up if they want to and uh let, let, well let me know. ask let me ask you a question because i know that you only play one character uh so you know it's fitting what what level is your heart of azeroth at right now do you know i don't Oh, no, God. you don't ask a lady that. Yeah, actually. <laughs> right. Actually, rude. Yeah. No, it's it's mid thirties, and okay, like that that just speaks to me, like not getting to play as much because of job and life and stuff. Sure. But, um, but I, I I could definitely appreciate the people who are like have been grinding it specifically to get to level fifty. Yeah, I know. I know our friend Spencer uh made it up to level fifty this last week. And congratulations to Spencer. Um, yeah. And uh, yeah, I can I can do a big applause for that. And anybody who's done that, that's awesome. That's a lot of that's a lot of uh, uh, work that goes into that stuff. Um, so I definitely, uh, you know, hats off to you. But now you have another four weeks to just hang out and not yeah. do not do the thing or level yeah. up an alt. Exactly. I think just uh, you know, worst case scenario, you jump on an alt and level that up. I love I leveled up an alt this week. You oh, yeah? did? I Which did. One? I leveled up my hunter, uh, Zug, and Oh, the OG. The, the OG. He's now a dwarf, though. So he's oh. not um, but he's still the, the same OG. it's he has all the same experiences packed into that uh, into that uh character. So it's fine. Um and so I, I leveled up to 120 and then I did the, uh, the, I finally did the dwarf, um, heritage armor quest. Oh yeah. my God. That was so cool. Really? It was, what happened? It was so cool. Well, you go to, um, Alduar. you end up nice. going, you end up, uh, finding the, finding the stuff, finding the armor, going through all this work. And then you have to go to Alduar, and you have to go talk to Ignis, who's now nice. Which one was Ignis? Uh, Ignis. The fire That's just guy. Ignis. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I remember that guy. Yeah, so. That was so, a fun fight. Yeah. And so now everything's nice over in Olduwar. They're all nice to, to me as I walk through. Oh, that must feel so, good for your self esteem. Yeah, it was really great. It, was, it made, made, me nice. feel, made me feel good about myself. Yeah, I'll, I'll admit. Oh. And maybe, you know, they've, they're on the right track over there now. You think? Maybe. Progress. Yeah. Being nice to dwarves? I don't think so. Well, no, just being nice in general. Just being oh. nice instead of uh, instead of, uh, of having an evil purpose, because some old god has creeped up into your into your biz. You know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just putting his slimy suckered tentacles all over your brain and your heart. Right. You know. And so now just Ignis is nice, and and we talk to Ignis, and then you then you go back into into dwarf world, and you know you're just dwarf world. Yeah. It's a it's a thing. It's not, uh, it's not Iron Forge anymore. That. It's Dwarf World, it. right? Dwarf World, and then and then you reforge the 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 heritage armor, and and then you get to keep it. That's cool. Yeah, it's pretty that's awesome. A cool really? No fooling. Yeah, and that's not too much of a spoil. I mean, it's kind of a big thing having Ignis in there, but uh, not too many spoilers in there if you haven't done it yet. I suggest you do it. I was I was like, you know what? This this seems like a lot of work, but in the end, I was like, that was cool. That was a cool. That was a nice. cool story. I really, I'm really glad that um, that I did that. So, very. Cool. And isn't that like that's very indicative of WoW itself? It's like wow, this seems like a long slog. You know, like <laughs> this is going to be a real grinder, but I'm going to do it because it's probably. <laughs> 
Because but I'm going to do it. Swipe and you swipe. You're Damn, it. <laughs> Damn it. Damn ah. it. Uh, boy. But yeah, but if you, you know, eventually when you get down to it, all of your hard work pays off and then it feels good. You know, you feel validated. Like you get validation. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, saying, you get the, like, you get the heritage armor and you can put that in it on any, uh, 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 dwarf that you have. Exactly. Sure. So it's, it's actually pretty cool. Great story. Congratulations. Um, well, th- why? Thank you. Why? Thank you. Um, so that's the as right knowledge stuff for the week. It's just as so you right know, it's still going. Stuff. It's still going. What? Wait. So what level is Zug then? Uh, Zug is now level, level one twenty. You have to be. You have to be one twenty to, to be able <clears throat> to go on the quest. So, so there. that's fair. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you got to be at least a certain level before you start grinding that. You know. Sure. Uh, now, <laughs> mm, mm, I you know I'm not sure how much I like you right now. No, I still like you. Don't worry about. I <laughs> don't worry about. It. I still like you. I still I still like you. Don't worry about it. Oh God, do you know how much that hurts? Let's talk. Let's what? talk a little bit of of sports. BNN Sports, everybody, coming at you. Um, no, uh, so this <laughs> last week, this last weekend was the MDI, the the Mythic Dungeon in no International. Ah, no. Is, I changed so it. Close. I changed it. Um, I do that too. So we had uh, Sloot and the boys, Automatic Jack, and uh, who else was there? Uh, Fist. No girl. We got Sours. We got Zironic. We got Titles. Yeah. This year, and Jack is the host. Right. He's hosting now. He hosted this. Uh, he's hosting and uh, it was it was good. It, the, the action was good. The uh, the casting was good. Um, how, how did you uh, did you like it? Fist? I loved it. I loved it. I I will admit, like the transition with like with Jack as a host now, um, there's less at least this weekend. There was it seemed like there was a little less like. I don't want to say there was less funny banter because there was plenty of funny banter, of course, but the MDI is just kind of known for like puns yeah. and like stupid things, like not stupid. I'm struggling here, but it's goofy. just, it's got, this, yes, it's got this own like flavor, this own brand of like goofy casting sure. where it's one part, very interesting. And the casters are extremely knowledgeable and extremely smart and can see things happening before they even happen. And I love that. But at the same time, the MDI like started three years ago and it started with this like kooky sort of funny sort of, it has its own personality. And I think that's not lost. Definitely not. I just think sure. that with the new transition, the, the hosts and the casters need to find that again. And, you know, they had to do that two years in a row because like we had Robert wing as a host and then we had, uh, rich as a host and yeah. you know it, it's just I, all up in the air yes i do think that um rich uh campbell who who does the awc stuff he's he's all over that stuff um um but i think his style kind of lends to a lighter a little bit of a lighter atmosphere a little bit more yeah. fun a little bit more punny if you will definitely um, he's always got that energy like right up here to 11. And now he's and got that Robert, Starsky and Hutch uh, mustache going. Yeah. He shaved it though. He did. Also, yeah, Ben Rookie shaved as well. Oh. He looks completely unrecognizable. Like in a good way, but it's crazy. <laughs> sure. Um, but, but yeah. I mean, but you know, he's, he's just kind of one of those hosts who, um, who just kind of oozes fun a little yeah. bit more. So totally. and I th- he's and, that kind of guy. You know, Jack is at a new spot. So so, you know, he's yeah, got Jack, he's, he's got some learning to do on that one. He does, but he's got so much potential. And like, you know, if you watch Jack's streams, like he's incredibly personable, he's helpful, he's sweet and endearing, and he's very entertaining. And sure. I think even like this weekend, uh, with the the next cup this weekend, I think that they'll get better because as the days went on, it it, it started getting back to that kooky fun sort of right and it, idea it, flavor. Yeah, and I think it will uh, only get better from here. And we've got another. So we've so just as a recap, this last weekend was uh, the Western MDI, uh, which basically is NA EU and Latin America, and then yeah. this next weekend is going to be all the 
all the the east side of it, if you will. So it's going to be A and Z, China, Korea, all that, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And we're Absolutely. and we're doing this for the next uh, five weeks. So six weeks total, yeah. three cups uh, per per side, per hemisphere. And, yes, um, and then uh, and then a land. Yeah. So uh, on the weekend, we finished out with Method EU on top and Method NA, and then uh, Ab Abracadabra. Right. <laughs> Abracadabra, and then Team Palooka, and then Copenhagen. So uh, it was really interesting to see uh, both Method teams going head to head. Well, yeah, uh, kind of saw that coming pretty early on, but. And it was cool to see. It was also cool to see that there were some professional teams, and then there were also just some casual teams. Um, Yeah. So, and that's that's what I love most about the MDI because, like, it's it's content that every WoW player has probably seen. Like, like you've you've done a dungeon, you know how they work, and you've probably done a key, and you know how that works. So you you get it, you know. Uh, And then you're seeing that, but then you're also seeing just teams like yours. I'm assuming everybody listening plays WoW, but uh, it's like Shell's Angels or XL's Angels last year. Mm-hmm. They literally found each other in Group Finder and they ended up winning. Right. Like that's, awesome. you know, they were that's... just that good and they had that like potential and they had the drive and the passion to do it yeah. and they did it. Right. So the right. MDI is for everybody. Oh, oh, sure. It's for everyone. Uh, Thorne, did you national now. Thorne, did you catch any of it this weekend? I did not. No. Oh. Oh, there was some good stuff. There's some good stuff going yeah, on. I missed, it was I good. Missed it. Some uh, spectacular wipes of, as well as as always. Yes. And, oh. <laughs> so. There was lots of druids. There, there was were lots of ropes. Now that's well that's that's the other thing. So everybody was playing night elf. Yeah. Everybody <laughs> was playing either a rogue, a druid, or a warrior, or you know, maybe maybe a monk. Maybe a monk or two. Yeah. But, but yeah, basically. That seemed to be Basically, it seemed to be a little flat, if you will, on that. Yeah, I saw. So I, I watched the whole thing, but it I, I was like out and about with my phone like sure. here. Sure. Um, so I don't know what my favorite moment was, but my favorite moment that I caught. Yeah. Uh, there was a frost mage at one point on Saturday. <laughs> oh, and like out. chat blew up. They're like frost mage it's a mage and like all the little hearts and stuff going down uh it was from fallen ones against method eu and obviously they lost against method eu but it was in waycrest manor and uh i think Nagoro was saying that you know they they just need uh like a range caster who's got cc's and slows to like you know keep them at bay so that the the, the tank the warrior can do things without stuff on them all the time. Sure. So I was glad that there's a mage and like, I mean, I'm sure everybody understands like when you see your main, like in AWC or an MDI, yeah. even in overwatch league, it's like, Oh, they're playing Lucio. I'm a Lucio main. I'm not, but you know what I mean? Right. But it's just like, you get that not only like that fandom, that drive, but you also get that like deep understanding of that class or that character. And it's it's all of a sudden just like completely illuminating and and way more fun than it was before. Yep. So. I, yeah, I think I think I think Goblin Graphics is right in chat. It needs a little bit of class diversity. <laughs> it needs a little bit of of uh, some sort of encouragement from either Blizzard or from I don't know, just folks in general um, that you know maybe you got to bust out of that whatever the meta Absolutely. is. And- the the problem is though like if you're going to go against the meta you're literally risking your ch- your chances at winning uh it's clear that this the MDI meta right now is is a thing and it's the best one and that's why we didn't see a lot of deviation because yes it's for the viewers it's fun to see different uh classes just like in Overwatch League it's fun to see a torb yep you know but they're literally risking their chance to win. Right. So, and it's a lot of money. It is a lot exactly. of money. So, and, I, and I know at least one actual MDI player and he is practicing every day for hours. And then when he's not practicing, he's going over footage of what they did to tighten it up. You know, like this is not like for a lot of these players, this is not just, Oh, I'm just going to play wow and try to win some money and, and, and have fun. Like for some of them, right. it's, it's a passion project. Yep. And if they're looking at this meta and saying, 
yeah, it would be cool if we could play a mage because, you know, everybody would love to see it. It'd be interesting. We could probably come up with some cool and creative things that people aren't doing right now, but it's just not viable because we're probably going to lose. So it, yes, I, I understand like it does suck on one side, but what are you going to do? You know, I, I dare say this might be the shortest path to some professional play though. May- like in terms of all the, um, available esports, this is the one where, you know, in the case of Shell's Angels, like yeah. just said, you know, you can find a group and get on the big stage, you know, almost directly. Right. You know, there's not a, there's qualification. Obviously you have to be a certain level of good, but you don't have to go through, you know, Overwatch contenders. You don't have to, sure. you know. Well, and AWC is kind Pro-Pro of the same team. way. AWC is the same way where you can just sign up and then just go <laughs> for a season with, with guys, you know, with, yes. with with your buds, and just see how far you can but get. But I almost see AWC almost being more like, um, it's like the difference between, and I'm not disparaging, by the way. It's it's almost like the difference between being good with a big team in a battleground versus being good with a very small team in an arena, where sure. there's yeah. a lot more onus on the individual well, and their performance. Whereas right. in the MDI, you know, you have four teammates. You you can you can make mistakes that they can help with. Yeah. Well, and, the, and there's and there's no counter strategy when it comes to when it comes to MDI. There's no counter strategy when it comes to PVP. You have to say, well, if they do this, we're going to do this or, you know, yeah. we, you have to have some kind of understanding about what the strategy is going to be if it starts going sideways as well as, you know, so yeah. it, for the MDI, it's pretty straightforward and, and kind of same, same. So it kind of has a, a little bit of an uphill um, run at really trying to break out into the scene, I think into a real, into a, like an awesome uh, esport. I think it's getting there. I just want to see it get pushed just a little bit further. You know, what's interesting I, is that the dynamics will shift based on um, less things like the um, class racial or racial abilities hmm. because those aren't going to change drastically. They can't just keep changing them over and over. Right. Um, but I do think that future dungeon design is going to be heavily influenced by this, much like how the pro scene in other right. games influences the gameplay of others. Right. But every one of these has a meta, right? That they have to kind of get over and that it goes through what rogue mage priest in uh, arenas forever. Right. Yeah. Before that it over um, goats now in overwatch league. I mean, these, you know, these things come and go. Um, so hopefully not too long. Yep. Well, and yeah. and yeah. So now we might actually start to see them making dungeons to break the meta or something like that, which would be maybe. But I think affixes play a large part in this as well. That could be weird. Yeah. yeah. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Does. So like, if the if they changed up the well, when they change up the affixes, we might see some some deviation from the meta depending sure. on what the combinations are. And I think that would be a cool concept for Overwatch League as well. Like having some sort of handicap or affix in the map to make the map different than how it usually is. Oh, that'd so be it cool. might force them to change it up. That's Maybe that's something in the future. I don't that know. Could, that could be cool. That could be cool. It could be cool. All right. Hey, Jeff. Well, all right. Uh, but we do have more stuff to talk, talk about. Actually, about Warcraft. Believe it or not, we're going to go back into, into gameplay. But this is all stuff from, you know, a while back. So uh, we we're gonna go. The caverns of time, Pat. Yeah, we're gonna go uh, kick it old, old school. Hit it. Kicking it old school. Oh, 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 boy. That's right. And that's an old school sounder as well. <laughs> that brought me that's back it. like five years. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's right. I suddenly got really nervous. <laughs> <laughs> um. So we're gonna talk a little old school Warcraft stuff because uh, we got uh, our our uh, our friends over at Gog. Um, yes good old games.com yeah and uh, we got warcraft one and two now yeah. available on gog.com gog 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 oh gog oh gog so uh just uh, go over to gog.com and i know that and i know that some people are like going oh my god that's so amazing yeah. I, and i and and the, the i i watched the trailer for warcraft one and I was like, no, <laughs> <laughs> I've never, I've never played it. I've never played any of the Warcraft stuff, no, none of the RTS stuff. So I was uh, kind of excited about this. And then I watched the trailer and I went, nah, man, I'm bad. I implore you. You'll love it. It's so good. 
I'm good. It's hilarious. It's just, it's such a baby. I have three coming. I have already, I've pre-ordered Warcraft <laughs> 3. It is on its way to me. And uh, at, at any moment now, I'm ignoring I you. Just, uh, <laughs> uh, so, so that is, I'm going to definitely play that. But a uh, man. I, watch the tra go over to go over to gog.com look up warcraft it's in a bundle it's like 15 bucks for one and two yeah but, it's really sweet actually but watch the trailer guys it's okay. just i i'm I just mean, saying it's sweet it's endearing it's cute it's th like those two games i remember distinctly my dad coming home with his work laptop because we didn't have a pc at home and i was just a little baby and he'd pop that sucker on for me and I'd play for hours and I would suck at it, but it was so fun. You just get completely consumed by it. Like once you have so many things that you've built and like so many peons and soldiers and stuff, like it's, Warful. it's consuming right. it's, and it's, and it's, and it's Warcraft and it's purest little baby angel form. And it's just so sweet, Pat. Well, and you have to get past what it looks like. I understand the nostalgia of it. I, I do. I do because I yeah you know, I feel kind of the same way with classic wow another game that I've never played but I'm I'm kind of interested you know as we've been talking more and more about this um you know classic wow is starting to become a real thing and and people are getting super hype about it right I don't know if I can say the same thing about Warcraft uh 1 or 2 and I don't I don't know what sure. the difference is because I didn't play either of them um, well, now's your opportunity because right. good old games has a bundle. You can get two for the price of one. Well, two for the price of one and a half. It's fifteen bucks. Or two, still, two. that's a great price. Yes. So yeah, plus you get the original original version plus the Windows ten optimized version. Right. Yeah. Right. So it's the same with Diablo as well. If yeah. you get it on GOG. Right. And and, and now the, GOG has uh, three Blizzard games available. Right, and the and the reason that GOG has them instead of throwing them up onto the launcher is probably because they just didn't want to rework it. Probably. I mean, they've got three on the way. Do they need one Maybe. and two on the way in a some sort of uh, updated form? I don't think so. I don't think that would fly necessarily. I don't know. I, was just, that, I, mean, I think it's well, out of out of those three. Wasn't three the the biggest baddest one of them all? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. All right. But yeah, I just I love that 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 classic's going to be available and three is going to be available and now one and two are easily available and it's just like there's so much Warcraft in the world right now. I feel like my heart is bursting. It's like we're so close to peace on earth, Pat, with Warcraft. Peacecraft. Wait. Yeah. No, we're in. No, we're in Battle for Azeroth. That's total Warcraft. Warcraft. That's the War I mean of Warcraft. Yeah, we've we've got and Warcraft in our Warcraft you, right we now. We can't Pat. have we can't have peace <laughs> on like Warcraft. No, we can't do it. No, because then it would be peacecraft, and that's not that's not a that's not no. a fun game. <laughs> like war. That's just killing. Yeah. so you can Warcraft while you Warcraft. That's just killing <laughs> boars for fifty levels. That's all that is. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> just go into the forest and kill boars. All right. That's what we do for our patrons. Warcraft on Warcraft on Warcraft. That's like my closet. <laughs> All my shirts have Blizzard merch. It's I noticed. <laughs> <laughs> well, so there you go. There you go. But that's but that's now available on uh, GOG, as we said. Um, speaking of WoW Classic, as we did just a moment ago, there was a new thing uh, uh, unveiled this week, or talked about it anyway, uh, and it was a thing called spell spell batching. What's that, Pat? What is it, Pat? So. I don't know. I my, here's here's what here's, here's, here's what I, here's here's what I'm guessing. So um, no, it's it's um, when they in the world as you're casting spells, they will combine all of these spell casts into increments. And here we're talking in modern day. Apparently, it's it's point oh two seconds. Is that right? Okay. No, it, no, it's 20, 20 milliseconds. Sorry. 20 milliseconds. Uh, you can't really tell in 20 milliseconds if, if you're batching spells. So they'll just say, hey, if you fired off a spell in this 20 millisecond time frame, it's just the same. It's as if, as if you're doing it at exactly the same time. 
So in essence, just, the game is much more responsive than it used to be. Right. And yeah. because back I, in classic, it was, it was, you know, it was internet 2004. So right. exactly an example here. Do you mind if I read this? Cause it seems it helped me kind of understand. Okay. Go, yeah, go ahead. Help us understand. Go ahead. Uh, it was relatively common in the original game to see a warrior pummel a mage who simultaneously and successfully polymorphed the warrior. Now, if you think about that, a pummel is an instant interrupt, right? And right. a polymorph is a cast time. So how could that happen? So the mage suffered pummel damage, but no spell school lock because the mage didn't get interrupted. This could seem paradoxical, but it could happen because the pummel and polymorph were both in the same batch and were both valid actions at the start of the batch. And so therefore it's about processing actions in batches. And these, in, these are in microseconds that this is all happening. So right. for the most right. part, things like that don't happen in Modern WoW, but they still can. We've made improvements to batch frequency. The game is much more responsive than it used to be. But if you manage to get both a pummel and a polymorph into a tiny processing window in Modern WoW, you'll experience the same behavior as the original WoW. Right. Right. So in in so in classic, what they're doing is they're dumbing it down again. They're saying they're saying, guess what? We're gonna make these batches a uh, bigger space, so it's two hundred milliseconds instead of twenty, right? So it's a, okay. a, a it's a much larger space to kind of uh, to kind of make it seem like you're on the original server. So okay. it'll feel more like original WoW. You'll be able to do the same stupid things that you were able to do in the original wow and they'll Which even leave a lot of the bugs of original wow because it's fun it's a part of the game that's true so man uh, posts like this like i like to think that i don't think or two about world of warcraft but posts like this oh i my head gets all hot i get kind of dizzy like i'm furrowing my brow trying to figure this out I feel like a Neanderthal holding up a, a torch in a cave, trying to figure out like the scribblings on the cave drawing wall things. I'm just like, oh, me press button, things happen. Right, <laughs> right. Uh, Neptune in chat said, uh, so wait, are they intentionally slowing your inputs? No, they are slowing down. They're increasing the batch size so that if you hit your button and somebody else hits their button within a 200 millisecond window, those actions are basically at the same time so in classic though right? in classic this is wow classic in modern day it's 20 milliseconds which is basically shorter yeah, yeah it's super short so you you can't even really tell i mean that's it's impressive yeah no so. nobody's gonna notice but it's nice that, that brandy told us about it yeah so that's, in a blue post. so that's good so that's makes it feel more like the old school uh wow stuff Yes. Yes. And our, our buddy Platinum is um, pretty well versed in this stuff. So I'm going to, I'm definitely going to ask him about this because I'm, I'm interested to see how somebody who is super dialed into WoW Classic, because um, he's doing that on his YouTube channel, even he's covering a lot of this stuff. So I, mm -hmm. I, I'd be interested to see what his reaction is um, to how this might affect things. So we might, we might want to revisit this. Yeah. No, I, I think, yeah. I think as we get closer to, actual launch of classic and as we know uh more and maybe can do like a like a deeper dive into this stuff we'll grab some people that um are really into this stuff like like josh oh, yeah. from uh from countdown to classic and and yeah. um uh, platinum wow yeah and i Me there too. are there are other people that are really way into this uh maybe even mike star mike oh yeah you know yeah. we'll see what's going on and you know about everything right and and maybe we'll grab all these guys and we'll just kind of have like a like a, a chat about classic. Film. Yeah, we'll just grab a bunch of guys and we'll just grind all night. <laughs> so uh, speaking of the, uh, continuing with old school uh, wow ideas. Uh, I K edit. Or Ike. Ike bit? No, it's no, it's not. It's IK IK edit. Um remastered uh Black Temple. The Black Temple yes. trailer. Right? I Wow. Are you wow. okay? I didn't I didn't remember this at all. And then when I watched it, it all came back to me. It all came flooding back. Yeah. It's yeah, flooding. Yeah, if you if you were a part of uh Burning Crusade, Black Temple, all that stuff, and you watch this, it will probably bring back all of the nostalgias ever. You know, the fond memories. 
but it's all the, the all, happy, bad memories. But it's updated character models and and it looks great. It's great. Looks awesome. It so. does. I I love when uh when fans do stuff like this just because they love wow, you know? Right. Like uh, all the art, the videos. Yeah. It's just it's like a love letter to Blizz. It I really love is. that. It really is. Yeah, and a lot about it. uh the way that I found out about it was because Taryn Gregory uh retweeted it essentially and with a heart. And it was like, oh yep. my God, this is so great. Um, and so he's super into it when fans do stuff like this. And he really is. He loves it. Absolutely. Makes his job easier. He could just say, hey, watch this. <laughs> Taryn's a big supporter of of like artists who want to recreate or redo or even come up with new wow uh visual content. And I, I love that, you know, because uh, I don't know, Taryn sits in on our streams are terrible, horrible streams on Friday that have absolutely <laughs> nothing to do with World of Warcraft. Sure. He's just a really supportive guy. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Yep. That's really good. Yeah. No, I, I would say that is, uh, is blizz wide for all yes. of those guys too. Um, definitely the Warcraft team is all about that stuff, but I, I think the people on the other teams are just as open with their art being reinterpreted, uh, by, by new artists and and all that kind of stuff because it's just it you come out with some really cool cool stuff so makes sense um okay anything else wow related that you guys want to talk about i just really love wow pat okay all right <laughs> well now that we've got that out of the way <laughs> uh why don't we go to hearthstone real quick well met I just wanted to bring this up because I saw I saw this article um, this week and I thought that it was really cool. Um, there is a smart deck builder insight from one of the devs of Hearthstone. Um, we have uh, Tian Ding, who is uh, the data scientist on the Hearthstone team, and uh, so he basically wrote out this article and it's about how the the deck builder works and about kind of the, the science behind it and all the, the thoughts behind it and everything like that. So when you go into Hearthstone and you don't want to build a deck, but you have, but you know that you want a couple few cards and then it fills in the rest. This is the science behind it. Love it. That's so cool. Two of the things I love about this one is that uh, it seems almost like a, a, a mini BlizzCon panel. You know, right. like that they yeah. dives into like specifics. And the other thing I like about it is it's a showcase of just like the massive amounts of work that go into these things. And right. I just feel like I, I know that that's from my Blizz fanboy side, that, but I just like, I, I love when they let people in a little bit because the Blizz fanboy in me wants to see that. But I also love when they do that to really give a lot of credit to how much work goes into this stuff and to really give a peek behind the curtain. And for those who really care about the, de uh, the, the super technical details, you get some of that. They, they give you some insider stuff on, in this. And at the same time, they put it in terms that everybody can understand. Right? And I just, I love that. Well, and, and like the cool part is, uh, at least in this article, um, they're talking about, you know, how even with just a, a few cards, they can, they can make a stab at a current meta type that might work with other current decks out there. Totally. And so that part is is pretty cool. And then they also have, really cool. you know, like they they have all the value cards that that people will want to to use and stuff like that. So um, they know what cards people are using a lot and they try to use those to combat them as much as possible, which is pretty neat. Yeah. So just, I think I interrupted you before. What was it you were going to say? I don't know, but I'm just <laughs> afraid that this thing's going to get so smart that it's just going to take over at some point, you know? Like, just when some things just get too smart, man. Well, it's when you got scared. Well, yeah. And, and like for me, when I, when I go to like, like, let's say you got like a stupid quest that you want to get done on in Hearthstone and you don't have the, the deck available to do it, sometimes. I want to just do two or three, but I'm like, oh, God, it's going to be a crappy deck and it's like, uh, yep. whatever. Yep. <laughs> That's the, the first thought of my head, right? Is that it's going to be the worst deck ever. So I better just build one. Screw it. I'll just take an 
hour out of my life. Not, not an hour, but uh, I'll just go copy a deck off of Hearthpone, <laughs> whatever it is. But uh, you admit uh, it. I don't have 10 of these cards, though, so it's going to be the crappy version of this. Right. It's going to be the budget version of this awesome <laughs> thing uh so now i kind of after reading this article i kind of feel like now i can actually maybe just grab a few cards and hit go on it and check it out so i I've, i have a little bit more comfort that. with that uh, honestly that's my least favorite part of the game is deck building so oh, i mine too i'm a big big fan of that right i'm a i'm a big fan of smashing face yep <laughs> yeah we know that's that's about it that's about I'm still it. a little tender from BlizzCon. <laughs> you didn't have to Sorry. do that to me, Pat. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, okay, so that was the that was the one thing in Hearthstone, and now uh, we are going to go uh, kind of take a look. I wanted to take a look and see what's going on in esports this weekend because um, it's kind of a big week, kind of huge week for esports out there. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Thist, what what do we got? Ah, uh, I'm oh. just kidding. Oh. Uh well Overwatch is coming back. Overwatch League's coming back. Yeah. That's... Oh yes. Oh, it has been a long, <laughs> long time. And we'll and we'll see oh, the yes. and we'll see the NYXL uh 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 choke more. No. Hey. Wow. Oh, no. no. For me, Pat. Ooh. No. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Next time I see you, we're both gonna smash in the face, Pat. Hurt, hurts a little hurts a little, doesn't it? Wait a minute. Oh, geez. we're gonna make out. Oh. That's a that's I think you, that's what you said. I think that's finally. what you said. Oh, finally, confirmation. So, Woo, so gonna happen, so you there guys. we go. We've got we've got that coming that's this. Mr. We've got this that coming this weekend. We've got uh, if you thought a AWC was over for a while, no. Uh, yes, the NA stuff is, but we also have <laughs> the A and Z stuff. Yay! Australia, New Zealand, all that. Ooh, yeah. That's gonna be happening. Starting, it's going to be good. Yes. Starting this starting weekend oi, for, oi, oi. for a month. So we've got yes. AWC and then we've got uh, the MDI. Yes. So basically, we're living our best lives right now. All of your WoW and uh, Overwatch needs are being met this weekend. Um, yes. All of your WoW wildest dreams have come true. <laughs> And a quick reminder that if you have your Amazon Prime hooked into your Twitch and you're watching things like the Overwatch League, you get tokens and drops while yeah. you're watching that stuff. Yes. Um, so I'm not going to recommend that, you know, even if you're not watching it, that you maybe leave it on. But do it. Oh, but yeah, do it. But free skins. Worth making sure that you're connected so you get all the free stuff out of it. Because I've gotten like a bunch of new skins out of just all those drops because it's just free stuff for something I wanted to watch anyway. Right. Yeah, and those bark skins are cute. Yes, they I are. just got one for for uh, Symmetra since I'm I'm Symmetra, you know. Of course. So that I can I can sizzle in pink. Nice. Yes. Nice. In hot pink. Nice. Sizzling in but hot. So what? Pink. So what is the key to uh to uh, competitive <laughs> Symmetra play? Uh, misdirection. Yeah. Who's misdirection? So in two, and I mean that in two different ways. One is placing turrets in a way that somebody has to walk through a choke or through an uh, an angle, and they have to turn around to deal with it. That's one. Yep. Yep. The other one is using your teleporter in creative ways, and I don't mean the ways that you would think as the very first thing, like teleporting your team to high ground is absolutely something you should be doing, because high ground is almost always better given the situation. However, what I do mean is using your teleporter to misdirect where you are. And also, you can put out a lot of burst damage as Symmetra by teleporting three of your turrets through, charging up a right click, teleporting through before you let it go, and then you've got three turrets burning on somebody and a right click Symmetra ball, which hurts like hell. Sure. Awesome. Then you follow that up with a hamster ball, and nobody survives. Space hamsters taking names and numbers. Oh, boy. Oh, Sorry. boy. Clearly, <laughs> clearly, this has had too much caffeine or something. I'm just real tired, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> she's on, she's on no sleep. All right, maybe we should uh, maybe we should get out of here then. I don't know. Oh no, I don't want to end this. We're gonna keep this train growing. We're gonna grind all night. Oh, I don't think so. <laughs> 
I don't think that's going to be happening. Uh, so it's now it's the time on the show where where uh, where we say goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. But, be- but before we do, but before we do, uh, let's tell the folks what's going on, <laughs> how they might be a part of the weirdness that is uh, stuff happening over at Lagging Balls. Uh, Thorn, why don't you go first? You got anything uh, cool going on this week? Um, well, we are coming up on our 69th episode of the uh, Friday Nights with Distant Thorn, and we're coming up on our four-year anniversary of the podcast. Wow! So, um, we've got a lot uh, in the works in the next couple of months here. Uh, April and May are going to be oh, kind of for us. Um, I'm also <laughs> moving in the middle of all that. Oh. So You're moving? Oh, my God. I don't like to move. <laughs> Nobody likes to move. After moving 2,000 miles to my current place, um, I don't want to move for a while, but I'm going to have to move again. Right. I don't want to do it. So Exactly. There we go. Uh, this, how about you? Uh, what? So, so other than uh, no sleep or being very tired, uh, what else is going on? Anything? I don't know, Pat. I really don't. Um, Lagging Balls didn't have an episode this week. Uh, we'll explain everything in the next episode coming out this weekend. Uh, but like Ford said, we have a lot of huge things coming up, so you'll definitely want to stay tuned for that. Um, and yeah, you can find all of that at laggingballs.com, or you can follow us at Lagging Balls on uh, you know the Twitters or right. the Instagrams or right. Right. what have you. I gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and uh, if you want to follow uh, me, it's uh, Pat Crane with a K, and uh, the show is at Convert to Raid. There we go. Uh, now, uh, you guys can also join us over at Convert to That's where we have everything. We have the audios, we have the videos, we have the, uh, the Convert to Raid podcast network uh, featuring Ooh. shows like lagging balls over there <gasps> look at that uh and uh there's there's a lot more too especially if you're, if you're a guildy you can uh go over there and and check out all the guild stuffs as well it's all over at convert to that is gonna be it for the show we're gonna get this some sleep <laughs> that was a great look everybody should see the video see the video if you're if you're watching that uh but thank you guys in twitch for joining us as always uh thank you guys uh at home or in the car wherever you are thanks for thanks for taking us with you and we will see you next time until then for all the guys at convert to raid bye-bye everybody bye-bye grinder <laughs> Yes? <laughs> what about it? Uh, I don't even know her. Uh... <laughs>